Hi folks, John Bedini here. This is day two on this battery. Look where it climbed. And I think that I've got the mix exactly right. And I can tell you this, that it scavenges the infrared energy. And it takes about two days for the cell to fully stabilize. And you can see here it's no longer dropping. Here it is. This is day two. You can look at the hours down here. This is how many samples it's taken in this many hours. It's over 8,000, 80,000 samples. A little bit more than 80,000, almost closer to 90. There's the voltage. 1.18 volts. There it is on the meter. There's the power oscillator. And here's the cell. And here's the currents now up and holding stable. So I think this is the exact mix if you wanted to build a self-sustaining light. Power oscillator, LED, star cell, and here's your chart again. So I'm pretty darn happy at this point that the selenium has something to do with the mixture not so much the galena or the iron pyrite so once again the chart doesn't lie and the load test doesn't lie this is exactly what you want a battery to do that's self-sustaining you want it to increase and keep going just like this so we're just going to leave it on here and keep going. So once again, I'll go over this with you one more time. The cell starts out here and continues for a while and then starts to climb overnight under load. This has to be under load to do this. That means that whatever energy that it's picking up in the cell is more than what the load is. It's almost as if there's an alternator on here that's recharging the cell. And measurements do not lie. And this is why you must chart everything out and you must figure out exactly what's causing this. So there's your voltage again. And there's your star cell. There's the power oscillator. And there's the LED that it's driving, which is, by the way, is a 2.8 volt LED. So that's exactly what you want to have in what you would call a free energy battery. Okay, so once again, it starts out here and keeps climbing. You can see that it did on the chart. The computer, and I'm just going to leave it on here because the computer does not lie. And so, thanks for watching. Glad I could share this with you.